Uh, hey guys, it's me, Awesome John Twenty Two. Uh, want to do an awesome vlog real quick? I'm actually doing this while I'm playing some Skyrim because I want to talk a little bit about how I'd really like to do a Let's Play of Skyrim. Um, just throwing it out there. I know not many people watch this. I've got a couple of subscribers now, and I'm very thankful for that. I really appreciate you guys. Um, I really do, honestly. If you it, drop me a line, if there is ever anything you want to see that you think I can put together, I'm trying to learn. Um, like I said, I'd like to do a Let's Play of Skyrim, um, but it, it would be so late to get into one right now, I'm, I'm not really sure about it. Um, be like the world's latest Let's Play ever. <laughs> I can actually, I might actually be able to call it that. But yeah, um, playing some Skyrim. If I start to swear, it's because a dragon ate me, which happens way more often than it should. Um... Love this game. Um, yeah, I... There's a couple things I want to talk to you about. I, I've got another review coming up. Another toy review. It's another Power Rangers. I know, I know. Um, I, I think it's going to work out okay, though. It's, it's a pretty good one. I've, I've, I'm actually editing this one, so... Yee, learn video editing. Oh, crap. Uh, got him. Uh, I love this game. I play with so many mods, too. I'm not sure that would really lend itself to a Let's Play, because my uh, frame rates would be deplorable. Um, but yeah, I'd also like to try to do a movie review sometime. I've been watching a lot of Nostalgia Critic. Um, a lot of Nostalgia Critic. And I like what he does. I like movies a lot. I know quite a bit about story structure. I'd like to learn more, and what better way, way to learn more than to haphazardly start making movie reviews? That's obviously a joke. But still, it's something I think I'd enjoy doing. I feel like that I might have something interesting to say about some of these movies that I'm seeing around. I'd probably do something similar and do bad movies mostly, but I'm not nearly as cynical or critical as a lot of reviewers are. I take a lot of things at face value better. So I think I could do something fun with that, but I'm not sure. I really would branch out and start doing other stuff. I've got a couple of friends who might be able to help me out. One guy is actually a pretty successful, uh, smaller name comedian around here. He might be able to help out with some writing. Because while I, I'm not an unfunny guy, I, I, but I'm not good at being funny on command. It's just not something I do. Um, it's actually pretty late here. It's like a little after 10 p.m. So I'm, I'm just kind of chilling until I hit the sack. Um, changing jobs, you know, just to touch base on my life. Ch changing jobs, that's going to be cool. Because I'll be making a little more. I'll be able to afford better stuff to review. So if there's like third-party stuff for Transformers or like... Uh, Rare, um, rare sets that you'd like to see me review my seven subscribers whom I'm very thankful for. Um, let, let me know. Hopefully I'll be able to do some stuff with some of that stuff sometime soon. Uh, yeah. My, uh, my, my new review is coming probably tomorrow. I've got the day off tomorrow, and then I've got the weekend. So, relatively soon. Yeah, it's just the fox. Ah, crap. Crash the desktop. Fantastic. Um, I don't even know what I freaking saved either. But yeah. That's probably about how many Let's Play we go to. But yeah, um. So. What else to talk about real quick? I... Oh, there was a screening of Star Trek The Next Generation Best of Both Worlds, which is probably one of the best cliffhanger episodes ever on television anywhere ever um, that I went to tonight with a friend, um, Nick, who, if I ever do upload some of my old really crappy videos, um, you'll meet Nick. He's a, He's a cool guy. Um, 
And he just recently got into Star Trek. And I've been watching Star Trek literally since I was born. I was born the year Star Trek The Next Generation started airing. Um, we didn't watch it a huge amount when I was, like, newborn. But my mom would catch it every once in a while. And we really started watching it around season three when I was two and then three. And I actually remember the first time I saw this episode, um, vaguely, very vaguely, when I was like three years old. It's one of those memories that you don't really expect yourself to have, but you do, because it was just that cool. Because my, my parents, even my dad, who wasn't really into Star Trek, got pretty excited about it. Um, it was a big deal. Um, and I love Star Trek. I don't know what things would be if Star Trek wasn't happening. I got my TV muted, too, and there's a 70s show episode on, and it's now distracting me. <sighs> but yeah, um, went and saw that. It was fantastic. Um, it was a the theatrical screening, and they had it set up like a, like a movie with the cliffhanger cut out so that it was all cohesive. Um characters in that are fantastic. They all play off each other well, and that's one of the few episodes where you actually get conflict with another human character in Star Trek. Um, Commander Shelby, played by... What's her name? Last name's Dennings. Um, she was like 28 at the time. And... She was great. Um, fantastic character. and Just a great villain... Uh, great writing and great dialogue and the directing, while it's still 80s, early 90s directing, was really, really good for the time, especially. Um, it was one of those cliffhangers where you honestly didn't know if all the characters were going to come out of, uh, um, come out of the situation, okay? And it it holds up. It really holds up really well. And I will still watch it on, like, Netflix or whatever, but they're bringing out the Blu-ray high-def editions of these now. And we're on season three, which this was the season, season three finale, season four premiere. So they were nice enough to make that a theatrical release for us fans. It was a little expensive because it was a one-night thing, and it was uh, uh, a little bit of a hazard to put together, I'm sure. But I really enjoyed it. Um... I had completely forgotten that it was happening until like a few days ago. Uh, yeah, it's something that I'm not going to forget anytime soon. Very cool. Um, but yeah, that's my little bit of checking in with you guys. It's my dogs. They're already in bed. Cause like I said, it's after 10. I'm just dicking around a little bit and talking to you guys. Um, but yeah, I'll talk to you later. Ah. Uh.